Hey, it's Mike from Mixpix Visuals, uh, back again, been a long time, no uh, siege. Um, I wanted to talk about editor scripting. Let's do some quick introduction to editor scripting today. Editor scripting is basically like, um, usually when you code stuff, it's for the game. Uh, so you can, uh, you can make stuff happen in the game. But uh, what I realized like way, way later is that you can also, you can customize Unity to do your bidding, make it your, yes, the thumbnail says your batch. Um, so we can make Unity do our dirty work uh, for us. Like, uh, for instance, uh, what I want to do here today is we are going to make a custom keyboard shortcut that will make Unity uh, work as a slave for us and rescale uh, all of these spheres. Uh, to have a, a random uh, scale of maybe, yeah, uh, with, with a slight modification so they don't look so damn uniform. Um, so we are gonna make a control M, keyboard shortcut control M. It, right now it doesn't do anything. We're gonna, we want to select everything in our scene by control A. We will click control M and it will for us uh, rescale just the spheres, uh, which means only the, the objects that has colliders on them. Uh, not the camera, not the plane, not the light. Uh, we want to randomize the scale of the spheres. Uh, and this is, of course, an oversimplified example, uh, but it is uh, an example, nevertheless, of how to use um, ed editor scripting uh, to make your life a lot, a lot easier. So let's start. Let's pick up Mono Develop, and we'll get right into it. But first off, we will want to uh, create a new script. And uh, I want to do it with you because it's important where it's placed. Uh, usually you, you have like stuff, maybe a folder called scripts or something. But now with, when we're doing editor scripting, it's important to put everything in the editor folder of Unity. Whatever's in the editor folder won't like um, be included in a build. And uh, since we are going to include some libraries for the editor scripting uh, that won't be compatible when actually building to some platforms, uh, we will want to stash these kinds of scripts in the folder. So just remember that. Uh, so let's call the script. Um, b -b -d -b -d let's call it uh, collider random. Sorry, randomizer. Okay, let's go into develop. So let's start. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do first is, as I mentioned, we need to use a, a special library called uh, Unity Editor. Uh, we don't want this included in the build, so we put it in the editor folder. We won't have to. Worry. What Unity Editor lets us do is it lets us <clears throat> it lets us uh, use uh, stuff that uh, <laughs> that that's not accessible otherwise, uh, like uh, how to access the selection of game objects in the scene, or how to create menu items with with the uh, keyboard shortcuts, which is what we want for our Control M uh, thing. So what we're going to do first is we are going to uh, write a uh, uh, the, the function that actually does the randomizing. Um, so we are going to make a static void called uh, randomize the size. And, da, 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 da. and it doesn't need any arguments and we won't send any arguments. We want, so what we want to do is we want to go through each of the objects that we have selected. In our scene by clicking the control a so we want to loop, loop through through those so we'll make a for each loop for each game object with the temporary um variable name of go for game object go in so here's the uh new magic stuff in selection dot game objects so what this will do is it will uh, loop through all of the game objects that we have selected but we don't want to affect all of them so we will we only want to affect the ones that has a collider on them. Uh, so we will make an if statement. If geo dot get component collider, we will look uh, for for if the if the game object has a collider uh, with, uh, by doing this. So we we check if it's not null. So we make sure that it has a collider. In that case, do stuff. So what do we want to do in this stuff? We want to uh, what we want to do first is we want to declare a random value. 
uh, to use for the scale. So we have a we'll make a float called random, uh, and we'll assign it to be random dot range between zero dot eight. I will put a f in, at the end of that to make sure that it registers as a float, uh, and also there. So uh, this uh, this variable will be somewhere between 0 0.8 and 1.2. We can make it even go even crazier, but let's not for now. Uh, and so we got the random value. Now we want to actually scale the object. So we will put uh, we will take the game object that's referenced in the loop that has the collider that we know has a collider, so we know it's a sphere. Uh, we put go dot transform dot local scale equals a new vector uh, so we need to every time we uh, set a scale for for a transform we need to uh, tell unity how wide how deep and how tall it should be i guess with the x y z axes 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 uh, in, a, in a vector three um but in this case we want it to scale uniformly uh, so we will put the same value in all of the three axes. Ax God damn it, axes. So we'll, we'll put random. So this takes three floats. So we will add three floats. And I cannot type. Like that. So now we got the method, method itself. So by doing this, uh, by, by firing this command, we would uh, resize all of the spheres in the scene. We also wanted to add a shortcut to it. And we will do this by creating a menu item. Um, and this is also included in the uh, Unity Editor um, library, which is, of course, bundled with Unity. It's not an extra. Uh, we could put this under, um, I don't know, file. We could put this under edit, but why not put it under something more custom? So let's add mix pix visual tools and then forward slash, and let's call it collider. Ran randomizer. So by doing this, we could, in addition to uh, using the keyboard shortcut, we could also access it from, from the menus. We forgot the uh, the shortcut or something. And we will add the the percent sign, uh, which acts as the, the control in our combination, and then the M. Um, like that. And this will make Unity fire this command, this uh, method, whenever we play press uh, control M. So let's save, we go back to Unity and we compile. And we don't seem to have any uh, errors with that. And as you can see, uh, we have a new menu called Mixpix Visual Tools, Collider Randomizer, and... Okay, well, I think I made some mistake. Let me double check. Yes, we did. We don't want the slash to just separate the name from the uh, keyboard shortcut. We try it again, and there it is. Collider animator at Control M. So now, if we use Control M, nothing happens because we have nothing selected. Uh, but if we, either if we select everything here, or if we use the Control A, now we have everything selected. And let's finally press Control M, and it randomizes the spheres. But nothing else. Everything else stays the same except for the spheres. This can of course be used to do any a number of. Uh, and things like all kinds of sub tedious tasks that's that that's usually just manual labor that's pretty brain dead um you can you can have unity do it for you um i use it a lot i use a lot of custom uh hotkeys in my work the warning is that you cannot um you cannot undo things that you change with the editor scripting and uh, so if you uh, change the size of all the spheres and you regret it, uh, you can't uh, control Z uh, to get it back. Uh, so remember, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> uh, but it's immensely useful and I would recommend uh, getting into it. You can also do like stuff you can create uh, unit Unity editor windows like your own components with uh, buttons and uh, checkboxes and fields and texts and bapity boop. Uh, so uh, you can go crazy, but we're not going to go through this today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions, uh, ask them below in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, other than that, if you like this or you want to learn more about Unity, uh, go to my channel and subscribe, uh, and you'll see what we'll come up with next. Thank you. Uh, have a nice uh, 2018, guys. Um, 
talk to you later. Bye.